yeah, uh, I like some useless things. So the other day I was, I was seeing the, this work of two Google Brain researchers. Uh, they proposed this adversarial neurocryptography in which uh, basically uh, they have two, three neural networks, Alice, Bob, and Eve, that um, was in this kind of uh, adversarial and setup. And Alice and Bob had to communicate again with each other and Eve tried to break the system. So I was a bit disappointed with the paper because in the end they didn't actually show the, the, the encryption algorithm that Alice and Bob had found. So I was doing nothing so I, maybe I could try to do this. So what I did, I, I, I developed a, a simple neural network that I knew that could learn the one-time path and implemented this to see what could happen. And actually, the, the neural networks did not learn the one-time path. They learned a weak encryption scheme that was easily breakable. And of course, if could not break because if it's just a neural network, it's not Shamir or anything. So, I, I mean, I I look at that at this and I thought it, it's just unfair because if it's just a neural network, it just has access to the ciphertext and could never break this this system. So I tried to do something, give a little edge to to Eve. So I use the chosen playtext attack. And Eve now chooses two plain text and sends to Alice. Alice chooses one, encrypts, sends to Bob, etc. So uh, in this setup, I ran, and now with the neural network, it could find the, the one-time pad. These are the results. It's almost 100% of the time. And yeah, it was fun. Useless, but fun. And this was a kind of algorithm. It's a one-time pad with the with a permutation of the keys, just that. Thank you.